Hey there, my name is Max. In today's video, we want to talk about homogeneous as well as diffuse light distribution on your grow area. Mainly, we have two questions. Why is it so important to have a uniform light distribution as well as why a diffuse light situation is important for your grow? At first, we have to understand what uniformity means. You have to imagine that uniformity means that you have the same light intensity from the corner to the center of your grow area. For a better understanding, we would like to switch over to the animations. A uniform light distribution leads to a more even and stable growth. In the animation, we see two equal chambers with one square meter each and an average intensity of 1000 micromol per square meter in a second. The difference is that one has a high uniformity and the other doesn't. Due to equal intensities in the uniform lighted chamber, you can see that the plants tend to grow more equally. While in the other chamber, the plant in the center grows taller than the rest. A uniform light distribution leads to a more stable nutrient and water requirement of the plants. Both rooms have the same temperature of 28 degrees. While the leaf temperature in the uniform chamber is at 26 degrees, the leaf temperatures in the ununiform chamber vary between 25 to 27 degrees. Let's say that 1000 micromoles per square meter in second leads to a water need of one liter per plant and day. While in the uniform chamber, all plants need roughly about a liter a day, the plants in the other chamber need between 0.9 to 1.3 liters a day. You can also notice differences in the nutrition needs. In the chamber with a low uniformity, the plant in the center with the highest intensity also transpires more water than the rest. It takes up more calcium than the other ones and while this plant receives enough, the other plants show a deficiency. A uniform light distribution allows us to get closer to the maximum intensity because the gap between the average and maximum intensity is smaller. This raises the potential yield. The uniform light distribution also leads to a more equal quality of the end product, since all plants are grown under the same conditions. While the flowers and fruits are equally big in the uniform chamber, only the central plant of the other chamber achieves the highest yield. In the end, a uniform light distribution leads to a more effective use of the electricity. Let's go over to diffuse light distribution. As can be seen in the animation, the diffuse light distribution and the impingement of light rays from a wide variety of angles maximizes the illuminated leaf surface. Looking at the second chamber, we see that the light comes comparatively statically from above the plants. This leads to the fact that already the uppermost leaf layers of the plants absorb the light and a further penetration into deeper plant areas is prevented. Through the possibility of easy tilting and the use of several luminaires for areas larger than one square meter, we achieve that the light penetrates from different angles on and into the area. By exposing more leaf mass, better photosynthetic performance is achieved at the same time. While we have already pointed out in the description of homogeneous light distribution that quality improves over the entire surface, Diffuse light distribution ensures that quality is maximized at the 3D level over the entire plant height. For a better understanding of diffuse light, we would like to show it to you in a real life situation. In this case, we have two fixtures. Now, we turn off one of the fixtures. As we see, the light goes from one side of the tent to the other. If we turn on the second light again, we notice that the light crosses on several places all over our grow area, thus demonstrating a higher penetration into the canopy. Let's summarize today's video. 
In our first topic about uniform light distribution, we learned that a uniform light distribution leads to a more even growth all over our place. Secondly, a uniform light distribution results in a more stable and consistent nutrient and water uptake and transpiration from our plants, thus resulting in an even quality distribution over our grow area. In our second topic about diffuse light, we learned that light coming from different angles and different directions results in a higher photosynthetic rate because it accelerates more biomass. Due to a higher photosynthetic rate, our plant produces a higher quality all over the area, not only on 2D level, if not on the 3D level, on the whole height of the plants. If you are interested in further information, you can visit the blog on our website, or if you have further questions you want to ask us, please feel free to contact us, for example, through Facebook or Instagram. If you want to write us an email, please send us an email at support at sunlight.com. Thank you very much.